guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope you guys are all doing okay and having a good time on Labor Day. I just wanted to do a quick video and check in with you guys to let you guys know how my master cleanse is going so far. If you remember, my last video was day was on day one, and I had uh, literally just had my first 32 ounce glass of lemonade, which I'm still using. Today, I'm uh, trying to get in some more water because uh, I actually woke up today feeling a little dehydrated, but today is actually day seven. So I've officially been on the master cleanse for seven whole days. So it has been a complete journey. Um, it was not nearly as bad as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. And it, it actually, um, you know, I have experienced some things and I actually have had uh, some good and bad things happen. So I'm just going to want to go through some of the uh, issues I had and some of the um, positives that I had. I will say around day three and day four, that was really where most of the hunger started to come in at. And I noticed that it wasn't so much that my body was saying that it was hungry, it was more mental. Like I was literally thinking about what I was going to eat for dinner out of routine. It's like, oh wait, you know, I'm on the master plan for not cooking dinner. It was like having to, um, in a way, sort of kind of re jump start or restart my brain on, you know, day to day. And, and no, at seven o'clock, we're not going to have dinner. We're just going to pour on a glass of lemonade. So um, I do find out that a lot of, of the hunger, a lot of the issues that I had were definitely more mental than physical. Um, so for me, it was more of a, of, um, you know, willpower than it was, you know, trying to keep my body from feeling hungry. Um, I will say I only really had any real issues with hunger. I uh, really only came in like the, the watering of the mouth and the grumbling of the stomach only really started um, probably around 6, 30, 7 o'clock, which is normally when I would have dinner. So it was almost like my body was not so much that I was actually hungry but that my body has been on a schedule of eating dinner at a certain time every day, and dinner was usually my biggest meal. So it was kind of like an alarm, you know, a, a body alarm system going off saying, hey, you're supposed to be eating, why aren't we eating? And for a good three, or a good two or three days, that happened. It, like, like clockwork, 7.30, the grumbling of the stomach, the watering of the mouth, and it was really, really hard. From 7.30 to 10 o'clock was my hardest time of the day when it came to sticking to the lemonade and not eating something. Um, day six, yesterday was really difficult. I actually broke down and took a sip of some pickle juice. I took a sip of pickle juice, I didn't actually eat a pickle. Um, but it definitely helped. It was just a matter of like my mouth being really dry and just being able to taste something other than lemonade and water. It was just like refreshing. It kind of like reboosted my, my energy, my willpower a little bit and it really helped. Um, that's something else that I've witnessed or I've experienced on the cleanse is that I, I do have, I wake up with a really dry mouth, um, bad breath as well. The cleanse has a tendency to, uh, for whatever reason, after like the first, the fourth and fifth day, I guess because your body hasn't had any other flavor or, or taste besides maybe toothpaste, water, and lemonade, that you start to have a bad taste in your mouth, like a, your saliva gets kind of, well at least for me, my saliva got a little bit icky and it got to where I had to brush my teeth like three or four times a day um, to keep the, you know, the back breath away, which I think is maybe just, again, another way of your body releasing the toxins that it's experiencing. Um, as you guys saw in the first video, and if you didn't watch it, I didn't do the salt water flush or laxative tea. I chose to take an actual choline cleanse supplement. I took four days. I take two in the morning and two at night. And it was an experience. I definitely will say that I enjoyed uh, pooping. I know that's, not, that's really gross, but I would always get to a point where it's like I'm like waiting for the sensation so that I can go. Just so that I can take, you know, note of what it looked like and what was what it, you know, and it was very interesting to see all the different colors and consistencies. <laughs> and I know it's really gross, but when you're cleansing your body out, it kind of helps to see what's coming out of you as motivation to keep doing it. Um, and it, it definitely is an array, a range of different types of colors and textures that make you really think about how much stuff is in you. And that makes you want to stay on the cleanse longer and continue to cleanse all that stuff out. So I, I actually did enjoy that process of it. And, I, and I, enjoy, I think I enjoyed it better because I chose to do the colon cleanse as opposed to um, doing the salt. The salt water flush is just... It, when I did the master cleanse the first time, that salt water flush just made me feel 
icky. I mean, I, it would be the worst part of the day was waking up knowing I had to do that. So I definitely prefer to do it with the Coney Cleanse Supplement. Also, yesterday um, I had an opportunity to, I, I didn't weigh myself prior to starting the cleanse. I knew that I was around, and I'm going to be honest with you, I was around 276, which I'm not proud of. And um, that I only found out because I went to the doctor. And I was like, wow, I really let myself go. I've got to get on some type of cleanse, some kind of diet. I've got to re rearrange the way I eat and, you know, my exercise schedule. So the master cleanse, I decided to do to jumpstart my weight loss. And um, I, I, like I said, around July 11th, I was 276. And yesterday, which was September 3rd, I was at 247. So I had actually lost 20 pounds in the last, since July 11th up until September 3rd, I had lost 20 pounds. Now, for me, that may not necessarily, that's not necessarily a lot that you can see significantly, but to know that I've, that without realizing it, I lost 20 pounds is really, really good. I mean, I, I felt really proud of myself about that. And it definitely encouraged me to stay, the, to continue to do the next four days of the cleanse. I only have three more days left, um, and then I'll be on um, going through the ease out phase of starting with juices and soups and working up to sell the food I, and like I said before I definitely will stay on a vegetarian vegan based diet once I go back to solid food and I am going to do 10 days on the cleanse 10 days off the cleanse and then 10 days on again so I do want to get to the point where I've done 50 whole days of the master cleanse so I will be doing 10 days of food where I work in a vegan vegetarian diet into my system and then I'm going to do another 10 day cleanse again after that. And I'll do it so on and so on until I get to 50 whole days of the master cleanse. Now a lot of people are kind of just like, that's a lot. You're really going to do that. And I'm saying, well, if you can make it through the first 10 days of not eating solid food, you can definitely do it again. In fact, it'll probably be easier the second time because I know what to expect. Um, I want to say, I made some notes here. Oh, I was having... And it had, it's still happening here on day seven, but I'll have random flashes of food and even like little senses of smell. Like I'll swear, I could swear this morning I woke up and I could smell glazed donuts. And, you know, when I decided to start the cleanse, I cleaned, I cleaned my entire house out of any food, snacks, anything solid that I could put in my mouth and chew, I threw away or ate before my cleanse started. So I don't have anything in my house to tempt me. So... For me to wake up smelling glazed donuts or even I'll get like a, a whiff of macaroni and cheese and it's just like my brain is literally trying to trick me or trying to send me or my synapses are snapping or something wanting me to eat something and it's really strange you know being able to you know feel my brain's activity through the process as it starts to get used to not having solid food um and I do I do honestly believe it is much easier to do the cleanse and be successful in the cleanse when you live alone and you don't have someone with you who's not doing the cleanse. I know I did the first time. Uh, my mother was staying with me and she was still eating regular food. And it was really hard to stay on the cleanse when you have somebody who's eating fried chicken and mashed potatoes right in front of you. And all you have is, you know, a cup of lemonade. It's not uh, enjoyable that way. Um, something else I experienced was I, I've noticed that I'm on a much better sleep schedule. It's like my body gets tired around 10.30, 11 o'clock, and then I'm able to wake up without my alarm around 7.38, which is exactly the schedule I want to be on. And I was struggling to get my body accustomed to before when I was eating regular food. And I think it was just so much that I was, you know, eating dinner at night and then feeling full and then not being able to go to sleep. And I was experiencing insomnia. I wasn't able to get up in the morning. I was getting up. I was feeling fatigued. And I've noticed that since, I want to say maybe around day four is when it started, I would find myself feeling sleepy and wanting to go to sleep around 10.30, which I don't think I've ever done since, like, high school. Have I ever gone to bed at 10.30? And then I would wake up on my own around 7.30, 8 o'clock, and that's around the time I need to be getting up for my Kundalini meditations or, you know, just to work or check my email and things. So it's actually perfect. And I'm feeling, waking up feeling really rested. I don't feel heavy. I don't feel fatigued. I don't feel tired. You know, you can wake up from eight hours of sleep and still feel really tired and, and you know, foggy. I didn't feel any of that. Um, so I did definitely, a positive is that I've, my body is now on a really good sleep schedule. Um, the last thing I want to say, 
is that I, I didn't realize how much food is advertised on television. That's another thing that I've had to start doing since I'm on a cleanse is mi uh, minimizing my amount of television time because TV loves to flash food in front of you. And the food that they flash is not the kind of food that you really want to be eating. It's all junk, crap, pasta, Olive Garden, Taco Bell, Burger King. And you know what? I know I live in Brooklyn, but Little Caesars is like every five minutes. And I'm like, you know what? I might have to get me a piece of pizza at least one time when I go on Sally Food just to get that out of my system because the pizza has been my number one um, craving since <laughs> the last three days. I have been craving pizza. But um, definitely I've already got my list together of groceries to get for when I, for Wednesday. This Thursday is my official first day of easing out. I'm probably going to start with, like, um, I'm going to probably get me some green machine juice to have in the morning. And then for lunch, I'll probably start with, like, some light chicken soup, like a Campbell's chicken noodle soup, but really more broth than anything else. And then for dinner, I think I'll probably do, like, a tomato soup, and I'll attempt to try to eat a uh, grilled cheese with vegan cheese and gluten-free bread. So that's my first um, ease-out meal, three meals for that first ease-out day. And if I can hold down the bread, if my body respond, responds okay to the grilled cheese, then I may go ahead and attempt to maybe have like vegetables and maybe yeah, vegetables and rice the second day or something like that. Um, but I'll definitely, if you guys want to see an ease out video or want me to go through the ease out process, I'd be happy to do it. Just comment below. Let me know if you really want to see that. Um, all in all, I would definitely, definitely um, approve and recommend the master plans if you wanted to jump start a healthy diet or a weight loss program just because it cleanses your body out of all of the nasty sh shit that's literally shit that's been you know kept up inside of you and it also gives your your mind a break and your body a break from working so hard to digest shitty food so by the time you get done with the 10 day cleanse your body is ready to eat and digest it's had a, it's had a rest your body is on a different routine your brain is officially clear of wanting and craving and of really, you know, horrible junk food. And it also has, your willpower has become stronger, which means you're more likely to make better, healthier choices. So I definitely recommend the Master Cleanse for anyone who's looking to, you know, lose your first 10 to, 10 to 15, 20 pounds. And, um, you know, just get yourself in a, in a perfect mental uh, space to start a real workout and a healthy lifestyle. So, I think that's it, guys. I definitely appreciate you guys being with me on this journey and watching my videos and sending me all your support on Twitter and Instagram. I totally appreciate it. It has definitely helped me to stay strong. Um, I will uh, do an all-in-all -all, um, into the cleanse when I'm officially done with my 10 days. As I told you, I still have three more days left. I will keep you guys posted on Facebook and Twitter as well. And... Um, Thank you for, you know, being in my channel, and I, I really appreciate you, you know, being here and viewing my videos. I definitely have some really cool stuff coming up. I also have a blog, theselfhelpgeek.com. You want to check that out. I have a lot of um, other things on there, uh, different techniques and tools for life coaching, as well as um, other healthy living lifestyle tips as well that you guys can check out. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for viewing me. Have a good day.